Did you know that even if you aren't ordained a deacon, a priest, or a bishop, you share in the priesthood of Jesus Christ? That's right. When you were baptized, you were joined to the body of Christ and began to share in his priestly work. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and in his first letter, St. Peter, after saying, you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, writes, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices to God through Jesus Christ. I think that this is one of the most overlooked and least understood elements of being a baptized Christian. What does it mean, practically speaking? It means you have a serious obligation. The duty of priests is to offer sacrifices. Before Jesus, the Jewish priests offered animal sacrifices or grain offerings. But Jesus replaced all those with his one perfect sacrifice of himself on the cross. He renews that offering of himself in every celebration of the holy sacrifice of the Mass and invites us, as members of his body, to offer ourselves with him to the Father. Thus, we actively participate in Mass when we prayerfully offer ourselves with Jesus. Then we go forth and live the offering, the sacrifice of ourselves. One way to do this is by praying and living the morning offering, which we promote in the apostleship of prayer. In that prayer, we offer God all our prayers and works of the day, all our joys and sufferings, and we do so in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass, which is being offered at any given moment somewhere in the world. In this way, every moment of your day can be sanctified, and you will be fulfilling your obligation as a member of the body of Christ to share in the priestly work of offering a sacrifice, the sacrifice of your very life, one day at a time.